Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to make a few comments about an investigation that's ongoing between the Virginia State Police and the University of Virginia Police. Before I start, I want to introduce a couple folks. I'm Lieutenant Joe Rader with the State Police Bureau of Criminal Investigation out of the Appomattox Field Office. To my left is Lieutenant Melissa Fielding with the University of Virginia Police Department. And to my right is Jill and Dan Harrington. They are the parents of the focus of this investigation as far as a missing young lady. And uh, they want to participate. Basically, the way this will work is this. I will give you a brief overview of the investigation. At that point, the Harringtons would like to make some comments. I urge you not to question them about the details of the investigation because they will not answer them. Also, during this, uh, please be careful and be courteous on redundancy of questions to the parents. Um, I will monitor it, but certainly they, uh, they have a troubling time right now. And then uh, I will follow up with any questions that you have. So basically, what we have is on October the 17th, we have a young lady who's 20 years old. She's a white female. Her name is Morgan Dana Harrington. She has long blonde hair and blue eyes. She attended a concert at John Paul Jones Arena with some friends. At the time Morgan was at the concert, she was wearing a black t-shirt that had the words Panera written across it. She was also wearing black knee-high boots, black tights, and a black miniskirt. During the concert, she became separated from her friends and has not been heard from since. She is currently listed as a missing person. However, there is some concern because Morgan, out of character, has not contacted anyone since the night of the concert. It's important for us as police officers to realize that people do come up missing. However, it's very, very unusual that we have not heard anything, either from her friends or from her family, regarding her whereabouts. That is the biggest concern currently is her whereabouts and her welfare. The details of the investigation are very limited. We have very limited information to work with. There have been interviews conducted of her friends, obviously of her family. She is a student at Virginia Tech. She is a junior majoring in education. She went to James Madison University, met up with some friends, went to John Paul Jones Arena for the concert. And that is the last that was seen of her. Anyone, anyone who may have seen Morgan or a young lady matching this description after October 17th, which was Saturday night, should report it to the police. She most likely will not have any identification with her and most likely will not have any cell phone with her. In addition to that, Please, from the media, honor whatever wishes the family has of you, whether it be on camera or off camera. Uh, our job is not only to locate Morgan, but to also provide support to the family. With that in mind, I will say that she was reported missing yesterday at 1230 by her father, Dan Harrington. And that's when the law enforcement became involved in the investigation. Currently, the investigation is a missing person investigation only. Uh, I will allow the Harringtons to step up and say whatever they want to. Certainly, they will entertain questions within the parameters that I have given you. We appreciate the uh, help of the UBA and the uh, Virginia State Police. We've really been... Uh, uh, very impressed by their thoroughness and professionalism and kindness that they have shown us uh, since this all started. Um, I'd like to say if, if Morgan is out there and, and hears us, uh, please come home. And if someone has Morgan, please let him go and come home safely. Morgan's a great kid, and this is a very atypical behavior and he's a wonderful person.
around. I was expecting her to come home yesterday afternoon after the concert so she and I could study for a math test that she has tomorrow. We want to show you. These are, this is the picture of Morgan that is most typical of what she looks like relative to what you've seen on the website. Here's another picture of Morgan. And then the third picture. Again, if anyone has seen Morgan, either in a store or by the road after the concert, anyone that looks like the description of Morgan, please notify the police. It would be very helpful to all of us. Hi, I'm Morgan Harrington's mom, and she is as beautiful inside as she is outside. She has family and friends that love her and miss her. If there's any information that anyone can offer that would help us find her, we would appreciate you contacting the police because, as you can tell, we're pretty distraught with her absence and want her back home as soon as we can. In time to take that math test would be fine because we miss our little baby. She is our precious daughter, and we hope that this attention can help bring her back to our home. Thank you very much. What's your first name? Jill. Are there any follow-up questions that you from the media might have that I may be able to answer? Can you guys explain at all what you were doing today? Sure. Up or above, dogs out there? Basically, University of Virginia police since yesterday have been conducting numerous interviews of those who actually saw Morgan the night of the concert. A follow-up to that is that they have asked for our assistance because we have an abundance of resources beyond just personnel. Part of those resources are that we did bring a helicopter in today. The helicopter was used to do an aerial flyover to see if there was anything out of the ordinary around the area of the John Paul Jones Arena and the highways. In addition to that, canines have been utilized. As a follow-up, we will do some more ground searching using some different methods on certain places just to see if there's anything unusual. The question is why would we be doing ground searches? The answer is we have a missing person who was last seen outside the John Paul Jones Arena, and that is the end of the information. So it really entails us to try to cover as much ground as possible, both physically with people as well as going out conducting follow-up interviews. I would also encourage anyone who is into the social networking on the Internet that if you have heard, whether it be by phone or by Internet, from Morgan since Saturday night, please contact the police. I will provide the police numbers. There's multiple numbers that we will use that you all certainly, I'm sure, based on your past experiences, will post for folks to see. It will also be posted on the University of Virginia Police website as well as the Virginia State Police website. Where are we at now with the investigation? We continue to try to find new leads. I will tell you that basically the information we have received is, you know, is fresh information, but it's nothing new that leads us into a particular direction. I would encourage anyone who worked in a convenience store late Saturday night into Sunday morning, anyone driving up and down the roads around John Paul Jones Arena or the Shawsville Roads, if you saw anyone that matched this description or closely matched the description, that information is pertinent to the investigation. Please do not hesitate to call the police. Um, if it's absolutely got to be anonymous, so be it. But once again, our job is to find her and check on her welfare. That's the most important thing, and put the parents at somewhat ease. Um, are there any other questions? Were you guys able to ever find out did she make it into the concert? Um, was she there with friends, and did the friends report her missing? Where does that come from? Her father, her father reported her missing, uh, and we won't go into how he learned that. Uh, she did make it to the concert, and she was with friends, yes. But during the concert, she became separated and was not seen anymore. Are you able to say at what time she was last seen? 
I should be able to answer that question, but I, I don't have that information. I apologize for that. Um, I will find that out. I'm sorry, Miss Philly might be able to answer that. It's about 8, 8.40. 8.40 that night. I won't comment on any evidence that has been found or any belongings that have or have not been found um, for obvious reasons. To do that would, number one, jeopardize potential investigative matters, but I can tell you that she will not have any identification with her. As far as follow-up on this case, um, obviously it's important that you folks are here so we can reach out to the communities. In order for you to be able to do your job, we need to be able to provide pertinent information that will help locate her. Uh, the investigative information will be somewhat restricted because we have, we don't know what we have yet. However, we will conduct follow-ups and send out press releases or the public information office in Richmond will notify you through public uh, releases as to the status of what's going on. Certainly, if there's any news breaking information, we will follow our procedures. Uh, first of all, making sure the family understands what's going on, and then we follow up the media. Uh, that's the best we can do at this point, but we will stay on top of it to let you folks know because we do appreciate what you're trying to do to get the word out. Um, and that's about all the information we have at this time. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I was going to give you those numbers off camera. Um, I would hope you could post them, uh, only because there's multiple numbers, and I don't want to be looking down my BlackBerry referring to them. Could you actually run through them? We're carrying this for Virginia Stations and CNN, I think, right now. Okay, well, email-wise, for the state police, which we routinely check 24 hours, you would want to use all lowercase letters, BCI, that's like Bureau of Criminal Investigation, hyphen, at VSP, like Virginia State Police, dot Virginia, spelled out, dot G-O-V. As far as a phone number, for the State Police, it would be 434-352-3435. That is my direct line, and I will make sure that the investigators get the information, and I check that routinely even after hours. I will let Lieutenant Fielding give you the information for the police department. For the University of Virginia, uh, the telephone number is 434-924-7166. An email can be sent to police, P-O-L-I-C-E, at virginia.edu. Finally, in conclusion, I really urge her friends who know her probably better than anyone beyond her parents. You know her habits. You know her friends. Uh, take an interest in this case. Don't let it lay down and go away from your perspective. The police won't, but the information we receive is about as good as we get in conducting investigations. So, you know, hopefully we can all cooperate together, the media, the police, the parents, and her friends, and bring this thing to a successful resolution and a positive resolution. And that pretty much is all we have to say at this point. Uh, we can talk off camera if you'd like, if there's something we need to clarify. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry, could you give us your full name and spell it? Joe, J-O-E. A, initials A, Raider, R-A-D-E-R. The, uh, the photographs that the parents have shown, we can send those out by email. If you send me uh, an email to police at virginia.edu, we'll forward those, those photographs to you. I will give you one more number of our public information officer. Most of you probably know Corinne. Uh, you maybe I already have her number. She'll be dealing directly with me most of the time. And um, does anyone who needs Corinne Geller's phone number here, who's the State Police Director of Public Information? Uh, yeah. The, um, 
the other thing, just for your information, is I am the um, lieutenant of, of state police investigations, and so I oversee multiple investigations. I have investigators and supervisors under me who will be directly involved in this, and they'll provide information to me as need be. Um, so I may not always have the answers for you, but we'll get the answers as needed. Let me give you Corinne's phone number. I apologize. I've got so many emails from Corinne today. That, um, her phone number is 